Hi, my name is Kip. I'm from New York and I play in the pains of being pure at heart. Just want to say hi, what's up, to Sherwood Web TV. The name of the band uh, is The Pains of Being Pure at Heart, and it was taken from the title of a short story uh, written by someone I knew in Portland, Oregon, when I lived out on the West Coast in America. And we formed uh, back in 2007 to play at our then keyboard player's birthday party. Um, and it was really fun. We had five songs. We played for about 10 minutes. Okay. Uh, the song titles were maybe longer than the songs themselves, <laughs> but uh, we had a really good time and we kept on uh, doing it. And eventually things developed a little beyond that, but it had a pretty, um, had a pretty uh, basic start. In 2007, when we released our first EP, uh, we basically recorded it ourselves with at our friend's basement and um, we pressed the CDs ourselves, we did the art ourselves and we you know, mixed it as best we could on our own and um, I think that was a really important first step but uh, and I'm really proud that we, we were able to just make that happen. Um, but I feel at each successive step in our existence we've gotten to work with other people that have helped us almost do a better job of doing what we want to do than we could do it just by ourselves. And I, maybe that's contradictory, but I feel we're able to better express ourselves if we're not the only person in the room because we aren't experts at you know recording skill or even making the uh, artwork look the right way. You know, So I'm really grateful that we've had the opportunity to work with other talented people and um, you know, as long as the spirit of ourselves is in the music, that's the most important thing. For a new band starting out, you know, you have to do whatever you have the opportunity to do. Um, we didn't have anyone that wanted to help us when we were starting out. You know, we played a birthday party, we wanted to record some songs, so had, you know, some talented person been like, hey guys, I want to help you record your first EP, we probably would have said, yeah, that's great, that's, that's a lot better, but um, I think if you don't have people wanting to help you at the beginning, it's not the end of the world, you can do it yourself. And hopefully if you continue to work, eventually, if you want, you'll get a chance to work with other people. But if not, there's um, plenty of great music that's been released uh, just by people trying to figure it out their own way. And oftentimes, uh, the sounds you get when you do things yourself, the mistakes you make actually are good and they create uh, spirit of identity to your music that is different than what it sounds like just to have like a very normal kind of setup that for a song on the radio or something like that so I think it's I think it can be good if you do things yourself artistically we've been very lucky to come to Italy uh, in the past and we've always had such amazing times uh, I remember our first time in 2009 we came with a band called the Vivian girls who we were on tour with um, we admire them a lot and unfortunately they've broken up but People in that band are still making music, Cassie and uh, Katie and Allie. Um, and um, yeah, we, we played an amazing show in uh, a park in Milan, and we played at Ravenna at Hannah, Hannah B. Uh, we're playing there again this tour, which is really exciting because it's one of the most beautiful places to play music that we've ever experienced. When we tour away from New York, uh, the thing that we notice isn't so much the differences between uh, the cities we play, and obviously physically, they're you know, very narrow streets and trying to get a van through the streets in, uh, in, in Tuscany yesterday. It was very harrowing at times, uh, not to go off the side of the mountain. Um, but aside from those differences, the people that come to our shows are very similar to one another, regardless of their nationality or age or, or whatever. You know, the kind of people that like our music in Italy are very similar to the kind of people that like our music in America or in, you know, even in Japan. There's like a lot of commonality in terms of um, the other bands they like and what they want out of music. So it's exciting to see that there is a, a global community of people that respond to music like ours and other bands that we admire. Um, so we're just grateful that we get to share that with people in places halfway around the world. But we're really excited because this year we got to release our third record, uh, Days of Abandon, and it came out this spring, uh, actually just a few weeks ago here in Europe, and it was a real um, joy to record. Uh, we hadn't released records since 2011, so just getting that opportunity to go back and record new songs and hopefully take the sound to new places and 
uh, develop beyond what we'd accomplished before. It was really exciting and I'm so, so um, I don't know if proud is the right word, but I'm very grateful to have had the opportunity to make the music and see it out there in the world. Um, I hope we get that opportunity to make another record someday, but right now we are so focused on just touring and trying to make the live concerts the best they can be. Um, and playing our heart out every night and making sure that we don't leave the stage until we're covered in sweat and bruises. So um, uh, we're just so happy to be on tour right now and just having a great time.